Well, if you've been with us all the days, which most of you here have been with us all the days, you, I don't know if you've been here all the days, but most of you, we had equations like this that said equals zero, they're quadratic equations, and the best way to solve them, or the easiest one, is x equals negative e plus or minus square to b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Yes, you know that. Say, I know that. Yeah, you know that. Okay, that's the best way. However, the one really good thing about, 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 about completing the square, because if you were here, did I use completing the square to show you how somebody invented the quadratic formula way back? All right. The thing that the thing that completing the square is good is changing it to vertex form. Okay? Like 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 um like some people, you know, I was talking about Hannah and Hannah was doing this and I asked her about that and this and this and somebody's like, who? And they say, Well, I was talking to Gronk, and then you see, so some of you know her by Hannah, some by Gronk, and some know by everything. And, and some people know you by Isabel and some by D. Yep, okay. And, and some of the people who call you D might not know the Isabel part, right? And some of the Isabel part might not know the D part. It's possible, it's possible, it's possible, it's possible. Okay, and, and this is interesting that your nickname, Siv, sometimes the entire other team knows it, the fans of the other team. They start yelling his name, Siv, Siv. Okay, all right, all right. okay. I played soccer goalie. Like twice I considered myself a funnel, okay? I was a soccer goalie. Not only did the balls go in, but ones that were going wide, I would sort of tip, tip them in myself. So, you know, they were going to miss, and then I'd put them in. Okay, so funnel is even better. Effective. You're not that good. All right. What we're going to do is the following. We are going to rename, and I remember what I just erased. I think I can. Was that 11? Yeah, minus 11. Minus 11, thank you. I'm going to rename this in vertex form. The difference between solving with the quadratic formula and getting a different form of it is a quadratic formula equation would say equals zero, or we'd get it to equal zero. And what that would do when it said equals zero and we do the quadratic formula would do this. It would show us where these two points are. That's what the quadratic formula does. It shows us where these two points are. But when we have y equals, or its nickname of f of x equals, we're just trying to give it another name. We're just trying to give it another name. And this is going to be an, incre an incredibly similar process, but maybe even easier than, 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 than solving. Yeah, yeah, I saw there's a bug out there. There's a bug out there. And we could see it on the, sh on the screen. It's going to be easier than solving by complete the square. And step number one is move it. Well, that's pretty similar to what we did. In fact, is it the same thing? And here's our it. So here's the difference. I'm going to add 11 to both sides. Okay, slightly different. The other ways we were talking about was to solve it. This way is to get its different name. All right, can I divide by two, divide by two, divide by two, divide by two? Can I? Am I allowed mathematically? Well, yeah, why not? I, I'm absolutely not, not disallowed. However, there's a little different way to not get that to be a y divided by 2. So what I'm going to do, in fact, is the distributive property over here. I'm going to do it this way. No, I have to take it back. Is pulling a 2 out front, this should be a squared, is pulling a 2 out front legal? Okay. Now. Have we done half it, square it, add it to both sides? Have we done that? Okay, here we go. Half it, I'm going I'm to go right here. Half it is 3 halves, right? Square it, is this easy? 
9 over 4. Now, this is where we have to be aware. Half it, square it, add it to both sides. <laughs> Deep cleansing breath. When I wrote down 9 fourths here, was it worth 9 fourths? Or was it worth something else? What was it worth something else? Was when I wrote down 9 fourths, was it actually 9 fourths times 2? Oh, I hope you're paying attention. I wrote down 9 fourths, but it's really 2 9 fourths. Thumbs up. Or medium. Okay, nobody's thumbs down. So This is 9 fourths. This is equal to 2 times 9 fourths. It's what it's worth. It's what it's worth. So we half it, we square it, we add its worth to the other side. So 2 over 1 times 9 fourths is 18. And the other side did something wrong. No, it didn't. It's 18 over 4, right? Say yep. Because I screwed up a lot of things last week. Add 9 halves to this side. No, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Two times nine fourths. I'll do another one. I'll do another one. I'll do another one. Is it nine halves or nine? Nine halves. Because when I wrote down nine fourths, it was really two times nine fourths was the value. All right. Hey, let's just do this without without getting all weirded out. What's that in, in, in decimal form? That's four and a four point five, four and a half. What's eleven plus four and a half? 15 and a half or 15.5. Hey, is this an easy factor? Is it been an easy, anyone who's been here the whole time, it's just what it was when it was cut in half. This just becomes, I will do another one, I promise, I promise, I promise. And our last step is move it back, move it back. So it says y equals. Mm. There's Hannah. There's Gronk. There's Isabel. There's D. Same people, different names, different names. Not baffled a bit. Eh, a little confusion. Huh? All right, all right. Let me go with another one. Let me go with another one. I think I'll do one without fractions. I'm going to do one without fractions. I'm going to do without fractions. Cool. All right. Y equals. Some people call this quadratic equation this. Move it. And the it is the 11. Hint, leave a little room. This is a 1. Do, do I have to do any tricks like I did on that last problem? No. So I'm ready to half it, 4, square it, 16. When I write down a plus 16, is that worth 16? It's not like 2 si times 16, or it's just 16. Add it to both sides. You know what I'm going to do next hour? I'm going to do this one first. I'll just re-edit it on the, on the, on the, on the, on the. We don't even need fractions. 
Is this an easy factor? It's what it was when it was cut in. Move it back, take away the 27. Yeah, it was. I'll do that one first next time. And by the way, what this tells us is the vertex of our parabola is at negative 4, negative 27. Negative 4, negative 27. Have we in this class talked to Mr. Malachy's rule about inside you do the opposite? Have we talked about that in this class? Yep. All right. All right. Do I need another recording to hit viral status? I think I do.